George R. R. Martin was asked if Robert ever suspected that his children were not in fact his, and George was direct, no, Robert was not a real intellectual giant. Robert was too busy living his own life to bother with how Cersei lived her life. That's also why he got Ned to be his hand, so Ned could run the kingdom and Robert could enjoy himself. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. He tried at first to be interested in Joffrey, but when the newborn cried while Robert held him, he was disillusioned with the idea of fatherhood. And we all know that Joffrey's less than idyllic personality clashed with Robert's, such as when he nearly bashed the boy's head in when he cut open a cat to see its unborn kitten. And while Cersei threatened him for hitting their son, Robert distanced himself further and further from his children. It's unknown if he's even made an attempt to form bonds with Tommen or Marcella. Cersei even tells Sansa in ACOK that Robert would always go hunting as she was going into labor and that Jaime was the one by her side. Deep down, Robert likely believed that his children were just another part of his miserable life without Lyanna as his bride. The only positive thought he had towards them is that he believed Ned Stark could perhaps lead Joffrey down a better path, unknowing of what virtually everyone with a brain in King's Landing knew. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.